It's the talk around town. Everybody talking about this. The Detroit Lions will win the Super Bowl. What it do, what it do, what it do. Vibe with me. Now I'm just bullshitting though. But a lot of people out here thinking that Detroit Lions got a chance to win the Super Bowl. I'm not going to go that far. But I can say it's a joy to watch D- Detroit fans um, have confidence in the Detroit Lions. Because, you know, it's tough being a Lions fan. They usually they usually don't make it to the playoffs. Let's just be real. Even when we got decent teams, we just don't got the extra pieces to put us over the hump. But with that being said, y'all, let's talk a little bit about the Lions and can they at least make the playoffs this year. And with that being said, honestly, I got a feeling like we can make the playoffs. We can make the playoffs because I feel like we are the best team in the division this year. But on paper and in my heart a little bit, I still think the Vikings may be the best team in the division. Even though they own two, they went against some good teams in the Buccaneers. And then they went against the uh, Philadelphia Eagles and lost. They they can still rebound. So we still got to watch the Vikings. But we're going to talk more into that. But the, the the vibes is, the energy is that the Lions, we got the NFC North this year. But we got to we gotta show and prove. And we just took a tough loss to Seattle. The Seahawks this Sunday, we should have won that game. It was the home opener. I started to do a video before that, man. Everybody was excited. They brought out the blue ski mask. It was cool. I just wanted that confidence to lead to execution. Um, the offense did great, man. Jared Goff did great. Um, we got a couple of our key players was dinged up. Our running back, Montgomery, got dinged up. St. Brown got dinged up. I hope they can get back on the field before week three. You feel me? Because we're going to need them. And I got them on one of my fantasy teams as well. So, definitely need y'all in the game. But with that being said, Jerry Goff balled out last week. I do want to salute Geno Smith as well. Those top, I mean, those tier, second tier, third tier quarterbacks, they was out there balling, man, on a, on a, on a first tier level, just poised and not making too many mistakes. That game was, was nice to watch. But with that being said, I ain't too sure about the Detroit Lions defense. Right now, they got to show and prove. Seahawks is a, a nice coached organization, nice ran organization. So I understand. And it's good to see Geno Smith over there with the Seahawks, man. And a nice, like I said, organization, a system with a nice coach and Pete Carroll. And he can, you know, show and prove. But our defense might be the might be it. You know what I'm saying? I know we 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 held the Chiefs only to, to what, 20 points in week one. But we're gonna have to show up with when it comes to defense. But let's go over some of these games on the schedule, y'all. We got the Falcons coming up. They 2-0. I'm not sure about this game, honestly. Uh, the Falcons, they didn't score about, what, 24 points in the first in their first game, 25 in their second game. So they can score over 20. Do I think the Lions can outscore them? I kind of think we can get 30 or so points, but will we make some mistakes to help the Falcons score more points as well. That's the thin line between that. I do think we can outscore them, but right now I'm not sure. The Falcons, they a cool team. I'm not sure, but we need that game. Trust and believe it's the second home game of the season. We don't need to be on two at the crib starting off this season. And this season, we got the NFC South. We going against the Falcons. We going to see the Panthers. We going to see the Buccaneers. And later on in the year, we going to see the Saints. So I feel like we really need to beat them. You know what I'm saying? Get them what we got. You know what I'm saying? Really, really, really show and prove to the, to the NFC. I told my pops, like, low key, we need to play every NFC game like it's a playoff game. But, uh, again... If we do enough just to win the division, that's cool. But we gotta, we we really gotta uh, do what we gotta do. But like I said, we got the Falcons week three. My bad, Joe. I'm trying to pull something up on this phone. We got the Falcons in week three, week four, first divisional game against the Packers, and we gotta get that game, man. We got to win that game. I got them beating the Packers off the strength alone. Whatever happened in week three is going to be 
It's going to be, it's, it's, yeah, week three is real. It's real for the Lions already. Week three is key. If they coming off a win, hopefully they can come off that momentum in week three and, and, and beat the Packers because we really got to beat the divisional. And that's just a given. That's common sense. I already know it's football, but we got to really beat the Packers. We can't be fucking around in these divisional games. Now, the Packers is the only divisional game that we will play before our bye week. So the first half of the season, all we really seeing is the Packers. You feel what I'm saying? Other than that, we're going to see a lot of the NFC South. We're going to see the Panthers in week five. I got us winning that game as well. I got us winning against the Packers in week four as well. And week six, we got the Buccaneers. And I don't know, man. Mike Evans and them going to be a tough one for us. I think it's going to be a, a nice high-scoring game. But that's another one of those games I'm just not sure. Like the Falcons, I do think the Lions may outscore the Falcons. But I'm just not. I can't like confidently say that the Lions are going to beat the Falcons next week. But they got to beat them, bro. They got to beat them. So hopefully me saying that is enough motivation for them to go ahead and, and beat the Falcons week three. But with that being said, that week six matchup against the Buccaneers, they 2-0 right now. The Falcons 2-0 right now. The Saints 1-0. The NFC South starting off hot. The NFC East starting off hot again as well. But um, I'm not sure about that week six matchup with the Buccaneers, bro. Mike Evans and them tough. But like I said, our offense is nice, man. If Jared Goff can keep playing like that, we do got Teddy Bridge in the back background waiting, you know what I'm saying? But uh, if Goff can keep playing like that, man, we got to establish some type of running game. Montgomery is a good player, not just because he's on my fantasy team, but I, I fuck with his game. But we got to try to establish that run game a little bit more um, and just keep our weapons going. I'm loving what I saw from Goff and Reynolds. Uh, they said they played in, 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 in with the Rams together. That's dope. That's cool. Keep that combination going. Keep our rookie tight end, giving us Laporta, giving us some good plays last uh, yesterday on Sunday. It was a good game, you feel what I'm saying? And I had players from both teams on my fantasy teams. I got more than one. I had uh, Keith Walker the third on one of my teams as well. So, you know what I'm saying? It's dope having fantasy teams because you just root for players more than just teams. But it, with that being said, week six is important for us because week seven, we got the Ravens. My bad for just jumping everywhere, but you know how we do. Week seven, we got the Ravens. I think we might lose that game to the Ravens, man. But we can beat them. We can beat any team on this on the schedule. That's just how it is. But the Ravens, if they keeping their season going right, I think they're going to get that week seven game against us. They're going to be at home. That's going to be a tough one for the Lions. Week eight. We got the Raiders. I think that's a must win again. I think we can outscore the Raiders. We're going to be at home, and that's before our bye. So we need to go get a win before the bye, go into the bye with some confidence, with some good morale, or however you want to call it, put it. Um, rest up and practice and get ready for the second half of the season. Now, I do want to note that I believe the way I see it, the Lions, they have to. They have to. They have to go into that week now and buy at least five and three with a winning record. Four and four would be cool, but trust me, man. I believe they must have a winning record five and three. If they six and two, that's even better. But these next six games is key to the Detroit Lions season. If you ask me, uh, they got to go four and two in these next six games. Going to week nine, at least, at least five and three. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section, man. You feel me? Because the second half of the season, we will have like, uh, what we going to have like five divisional games in the second half of the season. We're going to start the second half after the bye, week 10 against the Chargers. I got us winning against the Chargers. Then we get the Bears in week 11. I got us winning against the Bears. We get the Packers in week 12 at home. I got us winning against the Packers at home. So it's important for them to beat the Packers week four when they go to Green Bay. You feel what I'm saying? When they go to Lambeau Field, they're going to have to pull that one off against the Packers. But I got them beating the Packers twice. I got them beating the Packers twice. I actually got them beating the Bears twice. But in week 13, they play the Saints. And I'm not sure about that game. Not sure about that game as well. Should be a good one. How I see it, I just can't say that we're going to beat the Saints. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm just in my ways. Week 14, I got us beating the Bears, so I got us sweeping the Bears. 
I kind of got a sweep in the Packers as well. Ain't no kind of. I got a sweep in the Packers. The Broncos, week 15. I got us winning that. We got to win that one. Week 15. And then week 16, we got the Vikings in Minnesota. I think the Vikings are going to get one game against the Lions, so I got them winning that game. Week 17, we got the Cowboys. You feel me? And I don't, I see the Cowboys probably pulling that one off as well. And then the last game of the season, we got the Vikings at home. We got to pull that one out, uh, pull that one off and, and win that one. But low-key, they need to have the division tied up before they get to week 15 and 16 some kind of way because they don't need to go into week 16 and they got the Vikings twice and the Cowboys you know what I'm saying? You got to go to Minnesota, got to go to Dallas, and then you get the uh, the home, last game at home versus the Vikings. You don't want to deal with that. You know what I'm saying? The Vikings already started off slow, so we don't know how they season going to go. They might need them last two games in the last three, out of the last three games of, they, of the season, they might need them last two against Detroit. It's a divisional rival. Give them more reason to win. We don't need all that stress. We need to already have shit together. And be able to beat them for sure, but they're going to be key games. But you get what I'm saying. Like, can't be like we lose one of them games, we out the playoff picture. Like, we can't go through that. Like, we got to establish this divisional shit. If anything, that can... We can't be trying to get into the wild card picture, fucking around, going against the Vikings, the Cowboys, the Vikings. In my eyes. The Cowboys, we don't know how they season going to go. It's starting off good. But you know the Cowboys later on in the season, they might need that game. Or regardless, they might need it. But if they don't need it, you know what I'm saying? We just don't want to have to go against the Cowboys at the end of the year like that. They going to be primetime news and TV. So they might need that game. It might be some shit going on in Dallas. You never know. With that being said, though, I, I feel I think we can win 10 games. I think I got us down for 10. We won and won. I got us beating the Packers twice. And a um, few games I really can't call. But we going to see. We going to see. I just wanted to stop by, man, put my input on the Lions this year. I think we can win enough games and win the division for sure and um, make it to the playoffs. That's the best way for us to make it to the playoffs, win the NFC North. I feel like we got to watch out for the Vikings. I know right now people might be saying they got to watch out for Green Bay. Don't get caught up in that. Just do what y'all do. Whoop Green Bay ass on week four. But about week eight and all that, we going to know that it's going to be the Vikings that we got to beat probably. And we never know. But I just feel like the Vikings got a dope offense over there, so we just can't count them out just yet. Green Bay been playing good as well. Um, they lost a close one on Sunday. So we going to see. Good schedule for the Lions again, man. But with that being said, y'all let me know how many wins y'all think the Lions going to get this year in the comment section. Y'all think they going to be able to win the division or be a wild card, make the playoffs. Or y'all think they going to do what a lot of people, you know, knowing them for doing. And, you know, that's having too many close games and losing them, bro. I hate when we had too many close games and losing them. So we got to take care of teams early on in the game. With that being said, though, y'all have a great day. Believe, leave with love. Vibe.